Dimitris Vakrinos was a Greek serial killer whose crimes spanned from 1987 to 1995. To most observers, he was a taxi driver who operated around Athens. Privately though, he was responsible for the murders of five people and the attempted murders of seven others. What's particularly notable about his crimes is that he killed over minor disagreements. The typical daily disputes that most people shrug off could send him into a rage. His early life was difficult. He grew up in a poor farming family in a small village. His father was an alcoholic and was known to be physically abusive towards Dimitris. As a child he was socially withdrawn and spent most of his time working on the family farm. At the age of 13, Dimitris moved to Athens to stay with an uncle and his family, upon an invitation to get away from his father. As he got older, he worked as a welder in Athens, but later became a taxi driver. Dimitris was married twice. When his first wife broke off the marriage, he burned down her father's cottage. This was done partly in retaliation but also due to a previous dispute with his father-in-law. Dimitris displayed total psychopathic behavior in the motivations behind his crimes. He would kill or attempt to kill any time he felt he had been wronged, with no signs of remorse whatsoever. In addition, Dimitris was skinny and small in stature. He stood at a height of 5 feet 4 inches and was often referred to as Shorty by the people he would encounter. Examiners would later say that part of his motivation also stemmed from feelings of inadequacy over his size. His first murder occurred in 1987. An old friend was staying with him while just out of prison for burglary. His friend accused him of stealing his gun which Dimitris denied. This man threatened to report him to the authorities. Feeling betrayed, Dimitris beat him to death with an iron bar while he was sleeping. Using a large knife, he dismembered the body and put the pieces into plastic bags. He left the remains along the side of a highway that was roughly 20 kilometers away from his home. The next crime took place in March of 1993. Dimitris overheard two teenage boys making fun of a couple while walking in a garden. Their talk and tone did not sit well with him, so he decided to shoot the two boys with a pistol. Fortunately, they survived, but one of the boys was critically injured, losing an eye. His second killing came in November of 1993. This woman had the unfortunate luck of flagging him down for a taxi ride. He recommended that the two of them go to a nightclub and she agreed. She eventually requested that he take her home. On the drive home, he suggested that they have sex. When she rejected him, he drove her to a remote area. Once there, he forced her out of the car, poured petrol on her, and burned her alive. Beforehand, this poor woman reportedly begged for her life, saying she would reconsider his proposal, but he callously showed no mercy. Her body was found a day later. In another instance, Dimitris murdered a fellow taxi driver because he stole a customer away from him. This man reportedly cut in front of him in a designated pickup area. The two drivers reportedly exchanged words at the time but the killing did not occur until later. Dimitris let some time pass, and methodically planned his vengeance. He later went to this man's pickup area posing as a customer and waved him down for a ride. This man did not remember Dimitris. He asked this driver to take him to a resort town about 80 kilometers away. Along the way in a desolate area, he asked him to stop the car claiming he had to use the restroom. When they stopped, he shot the man four times. He placed him in the trunk and drove the taxi to a remote area where he burned the vehicle with the body still inside. The month of December in 1995 was the time period where Dimitris went on his biggest crime spree. On December 4th, he robbed a supermarket in Nikaia. On the 10th, 
he had a dispute with a woman. He later broke into her car and began searching for valuables. Two men who just happened to be passing by witnessed the crime in progress and tried to stop him. When they approached, Dimitris opened fire on them leaving one with minor injuries and confining the other to a wheelchair. On the 15th, he robbed another grocery store in Agalio. His final two killings came on December 21, 1995. Dimitris had previously sold a used car to another man. At the time of the exchange there was a slight dispute over the price. Dimitris felt he received less than what was deserved for the car. Like one of his previous murders, he let some time pass before he retaliated. He went to the new owner's house and stole the car back still having a spare set of keys. The new owner and his brother saw him drive off and pursued him to a gas station where he had stopped and was unaware that he had been followed. When the men approached him about the theft, he shot them both dead. So how did Dimitris get away with his crimes for so long? A few key factors come into focus. At this time, Greece had not been previously plagued by a serial killer. This was something entirely new to the area. There was another element that made it difficult for investigators to link his crimes together as the work of one individual. He didn't always kill his victims in the same manner. In some cases, he used a gun, but he also used an iron bar and other times he shot his victims but also burned the evidence afterwards. During some of his crimes, Dimitris was also reported to be wearing a motorcycle helmet making it hard to identify him. His final crime occurred in the late spring of 1996. Dimitris had become infatuated with a woman in the area. Although this woman had no interest in Dimitris, in his mind she was his girlfriend. He witnessed another man speaking to this woman. Dimitris saw this man as attempting to steal his lover. It was later revealed that the man and this woman were not romantically involved and were simply just talking. Dimitris went to this man's house to deal with him. He rang the doorbell and began peering into the house. The man's mother was the only one home at the time. Observing his odd behavior from inside, she decided to contact the police. Once they arrived at the scene, Dimitris opened fire on them. One of the officers was injured in the shootout. Somehow Dimitris managed to escape. However, someone in the neighborhood was able to get a good look at Dimitris and give police a description. Investigators were eventually able to trace the bullets from the scene back to other crimes in the area. In addition, the police knew that he had fled in a taxi. This ultimately led to his arrest. Not long after his arrest, Dimitris hung himself in prison.